second. Don't leave just yet. So you understand, right? We went in slavery because why? We broke God's commandments. That's why. That's why. Let me show you something right quick that you're doing. Give me that uh, First Corinthians chapter 3. Let me show you something, bro. Something because I love you, bro. This right here is called love. I don't got to hang around you every day to love you because the people that hang around you every day probably hate your guts for real. This love right here. This love right here, you see what I'm saying? So don't measure my love by how much time we just spent together. All right? Read that. First Corinthians chapter 3. Because you're doing something that's hurting yourself right now. Read that. Coming from the book of First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Uh -huh. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Right. Don't you know you're the temple of God, bro? We the temple of God, right? What that mean? Read. And that the spirit of, of God dwelleth in you. The spirit of God is trying to dwell in you. He wants to dwell in you. He want to live with you, right? But check this out. If any man defile the temple of God, how do you defile the temple? Not following his commandments. Not following his commandments spiritually. Yes, sir. You right. Something that you doing right now. Smoking, bro. Smoking. That ain't doing nothing for you, bro. That's right. That ain't doing nothing for you, bro. That's how you defile your temple. Because look, would you live in a house that's smoking? God ain't dwelling in you when you smoking, bro. You a God on this earth, bro. Right. Right. You an Israelite man, bro. This is the greatest people of all time, bro. Right. You way better than getting a little buzz, bro. You see what I'm saying? Keep reading. Him shall God destroy. Right. Do you want God to destroy you? Because I can shoot you 11 times and you make it. That hurt, though. That hurt. But what if God destroy you? Imagine that. I can't do nothing to you. that, Bro, what God can do to you, I can't even imagine it. So don't let God destroy you just because you want to get a little high. Or just because you want to look cool. And I ain't saying that's the case for you. Let me show you another way you, des you defy your temple, bro. Give me that uh, uh, Leviticus chapter 19. Or 21. 19. Give me Leviticus chapter 19. Let me show you one way you can defy yourself too, bro. Coming from the book of Leviticus chapter 19. Verse 28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Nor print any marks upon you. Look. He said you should make any cuttings in your flesh or print any marks upon you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And you got brothers out here that got tattoos, bro. But I know in the world, once you start getting tattoos, you don't want to stop. I got to stop you right there, bro. That's how you defile your temple. Because look, you in a loner. You don't own that body, bro. You don't own that body. God gave you that as a loner to come do his will. Not to do what you want with it. That's like if I let you borrow my car, can you go wreck it just because you felt like getting in a race car derby? No, you might feel like it, but you can't do that. That ain't your car. That's the same way with your body, bro. God say, I'm letting you use that to come fulfill my will on earth. To come wake up the 12 tribes, because that's your real job. Give me that in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. That's your real job. That's what you both supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be out here with us in purple, waking up the 12 tribes. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Because our people don't know this information. Before y'all came out here, who knew that was an Israelite? Who knew that was it? You knew you was an Israelite. You knew you was an Israelite. I don't believe you, sis. I don't believe you. I know how I don't believe. Why I don't believe you, bro? Let me show you. Give me that Deuteronomy chapter. Hold on. Read that for me. This is our job right here. Coming from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, verse thirteen. Uh -huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. He said, let me hear the, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. We're supposed to fear God and keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of man. No boy Tupelo ever seen. Not being the biggest player Tupelo ever seen, but no. Keeping the commandments of God. That's our job. Right. Now check this out, sis. I got to pick on you now. Because you said you knew you were the Israelite. And I just can't believe that. Because I'm supposed to see it. I'm supposed to see that you know you were Israelite. Now, sis, do you love God? Do you believe that we read the Holy Bible? Right? So you know whatever I say next ain't coming from me, right? It's coming from who? So if you got a problem with it, who you got a problem with? That's right. Who? Who you got? Okay. So you want any problem? You want problems with God? Who wants smoke with God? Okay. Read that for me. Coming from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not... Hold on, hold on. Read that slow. Coming from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman. The woman. We can get on the man. You see what I'm saying? But who we talking about, fellas? Who we talking about? The, okay, let's read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What she got on, bro? Come on, sis. You said you knew you was an Israelite. It says the Israelite woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. 
Look, keep reading. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now, how many men out here you see wearing skirts? No, I'm talking about right here in your vicinity, right now. So, sis, why you got on pants? Why you got on pants, Mr. Israelite, Mr. Israelite woman? Come to book, coming from the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. Right in like manner, also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So the woman is supposed to adorn herself in modest apparel. Now, sis, like I said, this love, I don't got to hang around you every day to prove that I love you. But let me show you how I love you. Because, sis, when you got on pants, you attract the wrong type of attention. I'm going to be real with you. Men don't respect you when you got on pants. Right. Because we can see everything already. Right. Seriously, we can see everything already. Now think about this. Think about videos you see on the internet. What women be doing when they putting their pants on? You think they putting pants on because they're like, oh, I got to get dressed, I'm cold. No, they showing off. They enticing men. Stop cat. Look, we are competent men. We know what we seeing out here. We ain't fools. You see what I'm saying? Why you think women go to the gym? Why you think women want to keep a nice figure? Because they know that's what men like. And so they put on skin tight stuff so men can see it. Now, sis, remember what I said? Can I see you rolling your eyes now? Did I say that or did the guy say that? Who said that, bro? So who you got smoke with? You think you're going to win that battle? So the best thing to do is submit to the word of God and change it. Look, it ain't nothing you can think or do to make God change his mind about what he already wrote. So, sis, all you want to do is fall in line with God. Because, look, let me show you why. Because we showed you it's gates to get in the kingdom, right? Don't gates got locks on them? Gates got locks on them, right? Let me show you the key to the kingdom. Give me that uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Let me show y'all the key to the kingdom. Let me show y'all how to enter into those gates. Read, read that. Coming from the book of Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Yeah. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Again, blessed are they that do his commandments. Keep reading. That they may have right to the tree of life uh -huh. and may enter and through the gates into the city. So that's the only way we're going to get into the city, by keeping the commandments. Yeah. Right? Why are you making that face, sis? Talk to me. I'm your brother. Talk to me. What's up? What you thinking? Huh? It's funny. Okay, why is it funny? Why is it funny? Since what? You like girls? Oh, okay. I just I gotta check. It's 2023. It's 2023. I don't know if you know, but people getting surgeries now. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta ask. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look. I have to ask, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Read that for me. So rock chapter 15 and verse 13. Uh -huh. The Lord hated all abomination. Did we know? Did y'all know God hated stuff? He said he hated abomination. He hated all abomination. We just read that homosexuality is an abomination, right? Let's see what else is an abomination. Sis, I got to pick on you one more time. Give me that in Deuteronomy chapter 22. One more time. One more time, sis. One more time. Now, we just read that God hate abomination, right? He hate about You want God to hate you? Me either, sis. Keep reading. Read that for me. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not. Where? That which pertaineth unto a man. So we read this earlier, right? We read this earlier, right? Why? Keep reading. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment uh -huh. for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So, I'm going to read it like this. From, I'm going to read it like this so you can catch what we're saying. Read it from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Jump the four. Right for all that do so. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So women wearing pants are an abomination to God. Hey, what we just read about abomination? God hate that. Do you want God to look at you and want to throw up? Would you like that? How would you? I hate to walk in the house and my mama look at me and just start gagging. I hate that. I'd probably go in my room and cry or something like that. And you know that's how that sis. That's how God feel about us when we going out of order. That's how he feel about you in the past right now. That's how he feel when he see your thug wearing a dress, or Tyler Perry, or Martin Lawrence, or any one of the men wearing dresses. He want to kill them instantly. But he got to leave them be for, for a time. But he will destroy them if they don't repent. Just like you, sis, he's going to destroy you if you don't repent. You know how much better you would look in a dress, sis? Do you understand that? You look like a princess. Now look. Do you see princesses and queens? Do you see them wearing pants or what they have on? They have on nice dresses, don't they? Give me Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. 
So, boss man, Lil David, what, what is she to you? That's your sister? That's your girl? That's your girl? Okay. Y'all in love? Y'all, what's up, what's up? You gonna marry her? You gonna marry her? Don't just say that in front of us. All right, don't, don't do that either. But read that for me. Okay, read that. Let me show you why you want to do that. Read that. Four. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bad undefiled. So look, are y'all married right now? I'm about to get all in your business, bro. Do y'all have sex? And David, your whole face just showed me everything I need to know. So y'all out here having sex. You know what I'm saying? That would be fine if y'all was married. According to God, he hate that thing right there. Because what you doing when you had sex with her and y'all not married, what you doing is you making her a whore according to the Bible. Yeah, bro, you made your girl, the woman you love, a whore. Simply by having sex with her before getting married. So now you ride around with a hoe in your front seat. I ain't saying she is. I'm just saying according to the Bible. You see what I'm saying, bro? You made your girl a whore, bro. You can't. That's why I read it again. Verse 13. 13 and 4. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. In the bad and defiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So when you get married, then you can do what you want with that woman. You can go crazy there. You can go crazy there. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta get married because what I said, marriage leads to you having a family. Family leads to building the community. Community builds the nation, and that's what we're doing right here. We're trying to raise up this nation. Alright? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.